Okay, this is my uh, radiotherapy mask that I had fitted. It's my personal mask. What they do is uh, when you go for your fitting, it's a piece of plastic. They put it in hot water. They then put it on your body. You're naked from the waist up. They put it on your body and it molds to the shape of your body, as you can see here. It has to be a very tight fit because when they're actually doing the radiotherapy, you've got to sit still, you've got to lay still. So when you're laying there, you lay on a bed, you're laying flat down and obviously it's a bit like that sort of shape and then the radiotherapy goes across the top and it burns. Um, sometimes you can smell it burning you, sometimes you can't smell it. Um, many a time I could smell my skin burning so it wasn't pleasant. But also if you've just had chemo, because sometimes I had chemotherapy at the same time, naturally when you have chemo you want to be sick. If you're on your bed when you're having it and I was sick then I just had to swallow the sick, I couldn't stop it and you just had to re-swallow the sick and then be sick again. So yeah, not very, very pleasant whatsoever. Um, the reason I've got my dates on it is because these dates are very, very important to me. The date I got diagnosed, the dates that I went through different treatment, and then my five years is right at the top of the head, which is the ultimate peak. So to get to five years, I'm very, very pleased about getting to five years. Um, so yeah, this is my mask. It sort of fits over very similar to that, so it goes in very tight. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of room there now because I've lost a lot of weight. Um, so yeah, the reason I keep it, and the biggest reason is, is when I'm having a bad day, either at home or in business, I go and look at my mask and think, do you know what? It can never be bad because they were my worst days in my life. And I just think to myself, just get over yourself, Chris, and move on. Because this reminds me of my real bad days. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy. But at the end of the day, it saved my life. And without this mask, I wouldn't be sat here talking to you guys. So, yeah, if you're going to have radiotherapy, get it done because it's a lifesaver. Um, I know people that have turned these things into flower pots. I've known them to do all sorts of things with them. I've known people to burn them and throw them away. But like I say, I keep it for my own personal reasons. And I'm very proud that this is my mask. It sits in the garage. I think it frightens a few people if they ever come into my garage and don't know it's there. But yeah, it's uh, a bit special to me and that's my mask from radiotherapy. I thought I'd just share it with you guys.